Welcome back to What RT Noobs with General Disturbance. This is the M44, the Tier 6 American SVG, and it's located on the south spawn of Tundra under the command of Major Nuisance. Now, alongside him is an M41 HMC under the command of Lerva, and he is about to team kill Major Nuisance for absolutely no reason whatsoever, as far as we can tell. And you can see the battle started. And his platoon moves away to a firing position. And you can see that Major Nuisance is travelling west on the map. So he's actually headed to uh, a usual spot where other tanks go, or other RT go. In fact, he's not going to go up onto the map, he's actually going to remain short. If we put up the mini-map, we can see that he's aiming towards the hill. And he's, yep, he's extending his aim towards the enemy. He's not using his right-hand mouse button, which he could do. He said he scrolled out, but he's aiming at a Type 64. We can see where the M41 is. Not far away. Aiming at a VK-3002M. Dialing in, round out. Hits the rock base in the centre, on top of the hill. Still waiting for the reload to go through. 16.79 seconds on the reload. And that BK is well entrenched behind that rock. He knows that there's an RT aiming at him, so he's not going to come out. And you can see the M41 is only a short distance away from... Major nuisance. It's not too far away. We fire a round at a Skoda, get a direct hit. 287 hit points there. And he's killed immediately afterwards by the Fifi. Okay, KV1S following him. He's in almost into the camp area. But he stopped short. Okay, we've got a P-43, which is a tier 5 Italian medium. Dialing in. Run out. Direct hit. 247 hit points. Good bit of damage there. KV-1S is going in and out of the cap, but there's also a leopard there. KV-1S has been killed. Type 64 up on top of the hill. Fires around in. Just get some stun on the Type 64. Trying for a shot there to hit on that uh, Leopard, but he's going for the Type 64. Looking out where he's going to go, fires the round in, gets a hit. Splash hit for 150. Going for the Type 64 again. Trying to get a spot on him. Trying to work out where he's going to go. Oh, very difficult because he's moving about all the time. We fire around him. Get a lovely direct hit there. 244. He got him for a moment. That shell went between the rock face and the dead tank. And he stopped just for a moment. And the Type 64 has been killed. And we can see that we've lost our Fifi to our... Uh, uh, the Leopard. And our T-34S is going in for the kill. And he's taken out the Leopard. So that's good. Now, VK-3601H. We can just get a hit on him. Firing the shell over the rock. We fire a round in. Oh, just miss. And that shell came in from the... I think it was from the KV-1. Up on top of the hill. The one we platoon with. There's an FV-304 there. We're light, dialed in. Round out. Direct hit. Kills the FV-304. That's our first kill. Our platoon now has six kills together. So we're up by 
Two tanks. Looks like it's going to be a win. But obviously you know this is a team kill video and that uh, Major Nuisance is about to be team kill. He gets a kill shot on the Hellcat. Wipes him out. So that's two kills he's got now. And I wonder if the M41 was aiming for that tank as well. And yep, there you go. He's just team killed for absolutely no reason whatsoever. No damage was done to Lerva. There was no reason for him to do that. He just shot Major Nuisance without any warning, no reason given, nothing in chat. I suspect that the Lurva was probably aiming for the same target, but Major Nuisance got there before him and shot that target, killed it. And now the Lurva is trying to kill the last of the remaining tanks. He's got one kill, the AMX-13 AM. And Major Nuisance says he's reporting this guy for team killing. And the game is over. It's a victory for our team. But of course the Lerva team killed our M44, our major nuisance. Uh, and here's the end of battle results. Uh, we can see that um, he got a third class tanker during this game. Although he was denied getting any further or any higher up. Because obviously he would have got more damage on the enemy if he'd been given the chance. He probably would have killed that AMX 13 AM the moment it was spotted. Um, he did get a bruiser medal for getting at least five critical hits. He got eight in the battle and a, a fair amount of damage, but not a huge amount. When he looks at damage, we can see it's the KV-1 who managed to do the most. He got 2,228 hit points. Major Nuisance came second on damage with 1,237. And then came the 40TB who only managed 1,141. We can see that the M41 only managed 402 hit points, but he didn't, according to this, get any kills. So that last kill wasn't from him. It was actually from somebody else, and he didn't do the damage. Um, so he only got 402. Uh, when it came to base expert to wins on the kills, by the way, it was the KV-1 who managed to get the highest amount. He got five. The 40TP managed three, and Major Nuisance managed two, alongside some of the enemy tanks. And when it came to base XP, it was the KV-1 who managed to get 1,296. The 40TP managed 630, and Major Nuisance managed 580. But of course, that would have been higher if he'd been given a chance to kill a lot, some of those last few enemies, which he more than likely would have. And um, we can see, again, if we look for the M41, he's picked up only 437 XP out of that game. So if we look at the detail report, we can see that Major Nuisance fired nine rounds. He got five direct hits, two penetration, five splash, damage of 1,237 hit points, all at more than 300 meters. He damaged five of the enemy, killed two of them, did damage assistance of 58 hit points and stun assistance, 163 hit points off five stuns. On a premium count, he earned 28,314 credits. He picked up uh, 12,855 from personal missions payout and got compensation for damage caused by the M41 of 3,823 hit points. It was 100% kill uh, from that one shot. So the total came to 44,993 credits. After repair and ammunition resupply, he actually had 37,899 credits left over. He received 870 XP times two for the first victory of the day, picked up 348 for personal missions payout. Uh, so his total came to 2,088 experience points altogether. But again, it would have been higher if he'd been given the chance to um, uh, get more damage in the game. Um, now, obviously, uh, the, the key thing is to remember is that the name of the person who's a team killer is Lerva. So if you see this player on your team, you have our permission to go ahead and do as much damage to him uh, to um, uh, give him perma-stun, make him realize that you don't team kill your uh, teammates uh, because if you do that, it'll just make you an even bigger target for even more people in the game. And of course, there are 3,000 people uh, in Wasarty Nibs, over 3,000, who will want to team kill this, or not team kill, but will want to kill Lerva if he's on the opposite side. So do watch out for that name. Put him on your blacklist. This is on EU server. So um, if you uh, do ever see him, 
um, do let him know that it was because he was stupid enough to team kill someone that he got killed in that battle. So, thanks very much for watching.